Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new episode of The Toy Shelf. I'm your host Mitch Live, and I hunt action figures. And today, we are looking at one of the universe's greatest hunters, the Ayucha. The Ayucha? Ayucha. Or as we call them, the Predators. And these figures are by NECA Toys. NECA! So to start, I've got a few Predator confessions that I need to make. First off, this is my entire Predator collection. Predator is a huge toy line from NECA Toys, but it only represents a very small portion of my collection. But just like the first Predator movie, we're just setting up for something much bigger, so if you're a fan of the franchise, stick with us. My second confession is that the very first Predator movie I ever saw was Alien vs. Predator. This is absolute blasphemy for Predator diehards, I know. And I'm definitely a watch things in the proper order kind of guy. But at the time, I'd never seen a Predator movie. But I knew Aliens, and it was a new Aliens movie. So I had to go see the new Aliens movie. And I tried to watch the original 1987 Predator when I was younger, but jungle warfare movies just weren't younger Mitch's thing. The first 45 minutes is all this military mumbo jumbo and they keep talking about gorillas in the jungle and I thought, well, that they were talking about gorillas. I was just too young at the time. But don't worry, since then I have fully educated myself on the Predator franchise, starting with the original 1987 Predator. Starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is the chopper! And good old Carl Weathers. If you can't beat the clown, how are you gonna beat Shooter McGavin? And here's my overall stance on the Predator franchise as a whole. Four movies I'll stand behind. One, I liked enough to give it a pass. And then there's 2018's The Predator. I have only one thing to say about The Predator. The f The film that gets a pass is 2010's Predators, or as I call it, Predator vs. Hunger Games. And I give it a pass because I actually liked the Hunger Games kind of angle to it. And I liked the fact that it took place somewhere other than Earth. This alien species has to know way cooler people and way cooler places than f***ing Earth. The first movie totally holds up. It introduces a group of characters that you want to see succeed. The main conflict in the film is resolved by the end. And it feels just like a complete story. And yet, it leaves so many questions. Just imagine watching this movie when it first came out with no other Predator lore for reference. It just leaves you wondering, what the f*** even was that thing? Where the f*** did it come from? Who was driving that spaceship that dropped him off at the beginning? What is a predator? That's how you create mystery and hype for a fictional species, and that's how you turn a film into a franchise. Anyways, enough about the movies, on to the figure reviews. This here is your classic predator, sometimes referred to as Jungle Hunter Predator. Or is he Jungle Hunter Predator? He does have a fair amount of articulation to him. His elbows, his shoulders, his knees, they all bend, but his right arm broke off the very first time I moved it right at the joint. Since then, I've glued it back on, but that elbow doesn't move anymore, and uh, I'm not gonna move any more of his joints just in case. He is from a seven inch figure line, which is typical for most NECA Predator figures. I mean, here's this other guy for comparison, but we're gonna talk more about him a little later. First, let's try to figure out if this is in fact 1987 Jungle Hunter Predator. Here's why I say yes. His skin color, it matches. He's wearing the typical fishnet outfit. He comes only with the weapons seen in the first Predator movie. He does have a shoulder cannon, but I just had to fix his shoulder cannon. It's drying over there. We'll get back to that. He's wearing these smaller bone trophies, which you definitely see Predator from 1987 wearing. And his mask is the right shape and everything. Here's my only evidence that he is not the original Predator. This little itty bitty tiny symbol on his head. I tried to have an eye for this symbol on his head while watching the original film. I couldn't see it anywhere. I know that they do mark their faces and their helmets based on reaching certain milestones as a warrior. Like, until one of these guys kills a xenomorph, they're considered unblooded. And then once they kill a xenomorph, they are considered blooded. And they get the little mark on their face. But that's definitely not the symbol that appears on his mask here. Because you see that symbol in Alien vs. Predator, and that's just not it. I'm sure I could keep digging, and I could probably find out what the symbol is supposed to mean, but the deeper lore of this franchise is a never-ending rabbit hole that I just spent many, many hours of my life in. So chime in, viewers. Do you know what this symbol means? Do you have the same figure? Did yours break at the f***ing elbow joint the first time you moved it? Anyways, let's have a look at this other Predator. I believe that he's called Alien Hunter Predator on the package when I purchased him, which would imply that he might be from Alien vs. Predator, but there's only three very distinct Predators in that movie, and he's not one of them. 
So he's probably from some other source material like a comic book that I'm not familiar with. Sadly, neither of these figures come with alternate heads, so you can't see what their face actually looks like. But maybe that's okay because he is one ugly mother Eh, no, I just needed to shoehorn in that obligatory quote, it's not okay, I need a predator with a removable mask. This guy does come with some accessories that are introduced in Predator 2, including this telescopic spear, or whatever they call it. You can tell mine's a little bent, he fell a few times holding his spear, and I've tried heating it and bending it back into position, and it seems to work for a little while, but over time, it just keeps bending back into this shape. He also comes with this frisbee flying murder disc thing. I know they call it something. I could probably easily figure it out. Eh, flying murder disc sounds good enough to me. It's also in the second movie that we first get to see that there's a variety of these aliens. I mean, predators. I mean, the Predators are aliens. I'm just saying that when I said alien, I didn't mean xenomorph, I just meant extraterrestrial. You, you get what I mean. What was I saying? Oh yeah, we finally get to see that there's more of these things. And we get to see one of their alien spaceships parked underneath an apartment building somewhere. The rest of the accessories that we're gonna be looking at today all come from the NECA Ultimate Predator Accessory Pack. <laughs> I mean, some toy manufacturers would just sell cool accessories with the figures, but but these accessories are on point. Here we have the Flayed Man from the flag of House Bolton. Uh, oh, wait, sorry, wrong franchise. Here we have a skinned Predator victim. You actually see a bunch of these guys hanging from trees in the first movie before you even know what Predator looks like. He is made of some kind of rubber. He's very bendable, but not poseable, but he looks so good. Toys were just not this cool when I was growing up. He also comes with some skull trophies here. So this was a very graphic and memorable part of the first movie, which we then learn is a regular practice for predators. They like to rip the skulls, still attached to the spines, from their fresh victims. This one was clearly just freshly ripped out of somebody because it's still covered in blood. And here's one that's already been cleaned off. They pretty much have like three or four ritualistic things that they like to do to their victims. First off, they like to disembowel their victims. It probably makes it easier to drag the bodies around. Next, they like to skin their victims and hang them high up in the trees to show off their kill. And they like to keep the skulls of their more challenging kills. Here we have another cleaned off regular old human skull. But this next one, this next one is my favorite piece from this accessory pack. It's the skull of a xenomorph. And I gotta say, I was pretty blown away while I was watching Predator 2 and seeing this, knowing that this came out in 1990, 14 years before Alien vs. Predator came out. But Danny Glover comes upon one of his skull collections and definitely sees this piece here. Just amazing detail. So kudos to whoever did the set design for that particular scene because they may have been the one to ensure the longevity of this franchise. And finally, the NECA Ultimate Predator accessory pack comes with these two energy blasts, I guess you call them. The blue one clearly represents the blue energy beam that he shoots from his shoulder cannon. Oh yeah, his shoulder cannon. So his shoulder cannon was broken. I'm not gonna blame NECA Toys for that one because he, he fell a couple times. Probably because he's got weak angles. Nah, I'll blame NECA. A little bit. He does have a strong center of gravity, so it's really not like he falls often. But I've had him for a while and he fell, he, he broke. It's fine, we fix. If you want to see more about what was wrong with it and how I fix it, we just released another little bonus episode. You can check that out. But uh, here is his shoulder cannon back in working order. Now, this energy blast comes with... It's, a, it's got a little nub that fits nicely inside the cannon to make it look like... that fits maybe not so nicely inside the cannon. Okay, theoretically fits inside the shoulder cannon. And I have to assume that the orange blast is meant to fit inside a gun that would come with the Arnold Schwarzenegger character, Dutch. But I don't have a Dutch. But if you have a Dutch and a NECA Ultimate Accessory Pack, just let me know, can you confirm, does this in fact fit on one of Dutch's guns? They probably make a couple different Dutches and they make, I don't know, something like a hundred different Predators. They're mostly individual and unique, but just the same. Damn you alternate versions! Damn you alternate versions. God. Damn you all the hell! And this brings us to the end of another episode, but hit that subscribe button, stay with us, because shit is gonna get more and more extraterrestrial here on the toy shelf as we creep closer and closer towards the season finale. 
As always, there will be links in the description below that you can follow to purchase your own NECA Predator figures. So until next time, thanks for hanging out with us on the toy shelf. And remember, you're never too old to play with toys. Jungle Hunter Predator. 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 It's going to be a word that I'm not going to be able to say by the end of this. Being in it. As always, there will be descriptions in the video description. Their link. As always, there will be links. So until next time, thanks for hanging out with us. Hanging out with us.